they're saying they the ministry says they are buying food for workers. That is fair enough because definitely it is good if they are going to subsidize the food for the workers. It's good. But we are talking we are talking in about the whole entire nation to ensure that we have enough food to at the, at, at very competitive prices for the population of Ghana. Mm. So what the ministry should do to achieve that is what we are looking for. We are also looking at ensuring that the food should not be so expensive and that producers will be able to cover their costs. But that is where the issue is. We are currently saddled with high cost of fuel, especially diesel. So with college, you need to use diesel. And the price of diesel is very high. So though the food prices in the farm gates are a little bit lower, um, once you have to transport them, then the cost becomes higher when you deliver them to wherever you are sending them to. So we were thinking that the minister will be thinking of sending, I mean, uh, subsidizing, creating a platform where um, government should subsidize agricultural fuel for the farming, for production and also for haulage of this uh, food. That automatically will reduce the cost of food in all across the country. Mm. We are also looking at immediately trying to use the dry season to grow more food because we need to have grow triple of what we are currently doing. Right. Because the because of the inflation, the imports that are going to come will be so expensive. You can that affordability will become an issue. So we ourselves should be able to have more than enough. Mm. And that will, will afford that currently as as a measure, short and then medium term measure, they should be able to look at irrigation. So that wherever we have irrigation, whether it's pump irrigation or whatever, okay. to try and then put some resources there for mm. growth food, food, I mean, to be grown. Right. To so augment the shortfalls that we are currently going to have right. within the seasons that we have already grown. Right. Philip, I think that is what they should be looking at quickly for us to be able to sustain uh, this food situation. Philip, you are a farmer yourself. Visually, when you go onto the markets, the conversation is that the food stuff they are not expensive on the farms but granted we don't buy them on the farms we buy them in the markets mm -hmm. after they have traveled so walk us through briefly mm -hmm. however Any, anybody anybody who tells you that that is what is as usual everywhere across the world food at farm gate is a little bit cheaper because it's where it is produced mm -hmm. but don't forget that you need to transport it somebody needs to do commerce, somebody needs to go and buy that food. That person is a business person. He goes to collect a loan and he has to go and buy. He needs to contract a transporter to transport. Cost of doing this is high. And if that happens, what will happen is that that food that is cheap, before it will get to the consumer, it will be expensive. I'll give you an example. The imported rice, which was supposed five kilos of 30 cities in June, today is 90 cities. The imported rice. Mm. The local rice is also following now up to about 60 cities. You understand? Right. So the situation is not just because it's a deliberate attempt by farmers or by anybody.